A number of residents evacuated their southern New Providence homes today. Last year, if you remember, hundreds had to be evacuated from southern New Providence because of flooding and storm surge. Janae and Noel Ferguson was there this afternoon as they packed up and left. Well, it's almost like deja vu for the residents here on Marshall Road, located in close proximity to the water's edge. They remember all too well from Hurricane Joaquin and Matthew, the water coming up for many of them to their rooftops. Now, as you can see behind me, some of them have taken precaution by battening up their windows. Some of these residents here are also with hurricane proof windows, but for many of them, they say they're not staying in this area and they plan to get out now. This area is mostly flooding. They say the storm is coming from the south, so mostly flooding and definitely wind, but flooding. Mm -hmm. This is already a low lying area. Tell us about what it was like for your family last year. Well, last year, the cars were moved from this area across the road. That's almost in the other subdivision. So, yeah, and, and the water raised the, the foundations are really high, but the water was all in the house. Are you afraid now? Or? Um, well, definitely, yeah, flooding again. Mm -hmm. What do you say for persons who are persistent that, you know, they don't want to move? It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. You saw what happened last year, just October, not even a full year yet. So, and it's coming with a lot of rain. So just get out. Well, last year, um, we had a lot of flooding in the back here. Uh, we couldn't get through the corner because the wall fell down out there. And um, uh, we had a lot of roof damage. We had the whole seawall down. We had to replace the seawall and put a new wall on the road. Um, just trying to complete from last year, but we got storms this year, so. And how and how does you know how does that make you feel knowing you just were building back and are you faced with another monster storm? Just tired, just tired. But I guess it's just something we got to deal with. And these residents in Marshall Road are not alone. We witness many of them packing up their belongings and their families and getting out of that area. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.